Hello and welcome to the beginner video on using Consigno Cloud. The video will cover the basic aspects like setting up your account as well as creating a basic signature project. Log in to Consigno Cloud. The first step is to go to the Consigno Cloud website and at the top right hand corner click on the login button. This will allow you to put in your email address and the password you created when you generated your account for the first time and you will be able to connect to the platform. The first time you log in you will see the project dashboard and it will be empty. Before you start producing projects, here are a few small steps that we suggest you complete. Set up your account. At the top right you have your name and you can see the preferences associated with your account. You see the type of package you are subscribed to, and we also see the preferred language, and you can choose between French and English. We also see the archive duration of the projects and the PDFA policy. Subsequently, you will have to access My Account, where you have basic information to be able to change your password. And then, the most important section will be in My Organization. As the manager of this account, or as the main point of contact, there is information that you will be able to configure. In this case, the name of the organization can be changed to the name of your company. The telephone number can be changed at any time. In the same way, we can also configure the organization's email. In this case, I'm putting the basic information and you will be able to publish or not the information in the email communications that will be sent to your customer. You have plenty of control over the visuals sent to clients in various communications. We can continue by clicking on the top right hand in the address book. Of course the address book is empty the first time you use it. We can add signers which will be explained later. Now we bring your attention to the left hand side of the dashboard. You will have access to your projects here. As you create signature projects these will be added to the dashboard. We can also see all the projects for the organization, the users, the groups in this section. We also have the notion of user roles and groups. Each user can be assigned a role, such as administrator, manager, editor, each with certain read and write capabilities related to projects. We can also assign individual users to groups to define the projects they can view. For example, you could have a person with the role of a manager or editor and then assign them to a group for the legal department and another for the sales department in your organization. The last two items on the left are the templates and the batch projects that will be covered in another video. Creating a signature project. To create your very first signature project, start by clicking on New Project. You will be able to name your project and give it an expiration date. You will continue by loading the document to sign by clicking on Select Files. You select your document or documents in PDF format or any other approved formats. Very easy to upload. Adding signers and creating contacts. Now let's add signers. In this example, there will be two signers, you and another contact. First, you can click on signers. You will see your name. You can select it and click on add. Afterwards, to add a new signer, you can click again on signers and this time on the new signer button. You will be presented with two signature options for your contact, the trusted electronic signature and the Certifio digital signature. In our use case, the customer like the majority of the people in your address book, is an individual which will be used regularly and you will select Trusted Electronic Signature. You will then enter the contact's name and email address. Subsequently, to ensure better security, you will have to choose a second authentication factor for your contact, either a text message, SMS, a phone call, or a shared secret. In this example, we will take a shared secret you will need to enter a secret question and the answer that goes along with it. When all this is done, you click on New to create the contact.
To add signature zones, simply select a signer and move the zone where you want to on the document. When the area is affixed to the document, you can move or resize it as desired. Adding a general message. To add a message that will be sent to all signers in the email with the link to a document to be signed, you can go to the bottom of the project and click on Add a message to all signers. You can write whatever you want, but remember that this is a general message for all signers. It is not a customized message. Adding a notification. You can also select people who will be notified when the project is completed and they will be able to download the final version. Click on the icon with the three dots next to the text field and then on People to Notify. You will have the freedom to choose who will be notified. Saving and launching the signature project. When you are satisfied with the project, you can click on Save to save it in your projects. It will be then displayed in the dashboard with the status of Draft. On the other hand, if you are ready to launch it immediately after its completion, you can click on the Launch button and the project will be sent to recipients immediately. In the dashboard, you can see the status in progress and this will also take into account the number of signatures received. Help. If during the creation of a project you need assistance, do not hesitate to click on the question mark icon in the top right corner, which will allow you to get started quickly, better understand the advanced features, as well as obtain additional information on the management of your dashboard. This video showed you the basic functionalities of your Consigno Cloud account, as well as a brief overview of the dashboard. The video explained how to create a basic project with two signers, add a message, and how to add contacts to your address book. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you found it useful.